Hey, Aaron. Hi, Scott. Are you going to be nicer this week, or are you still going to be a big jerk? Well, I don't know. I'll probably be a big jerk still. Because <laughs> I'm Aaron D. Johnston, and I'm a jerk all the time. <laughs> Aaron, gosh, I just wish you would grow up sometimes. You know, we're trying to do like a really professional show here, and all you want to do is goof around and like be dumb. Your face is dumb. All right, no, whatever, Aaron, whatever. So who's our guest today? Well, our guest today is JB from the Falls Facial Hair Foundation. They're doing a competition up in South Dakota. Beard Clash 2020. Wow, Aaron, that sounds like a good time. Yeah, I was up there. I'm a winner. Natalie's a winner. Natalie D. Johnston's a winner. I'm a winner. I won. Wow, congratulations, Aaron. That's kind of weird. We haven't released the podcast yet. How do you know if you're a winner? Well, it already happened. We're already back. I'm a winner. Well, Aaron, well, this is really great. So if you guess, well, I guess if you want to know what the competition was about this past weekend, you should listen to the podcast, right? Yeah, it's a good time. It's all for good causes. All right, Aaron. Well, when should we go listen to the Talking Beards podcast? You should go listen to it. Nice. Welcome to the Talking Beards Podcast, an entertainment news show all about the world of facial hair. You can catch the show live every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern by going to TalkingBeards.com. While you're at the website, you can check out all the other cool things that we do. We cover the latest news going on in the beard and mustache world from competitions, contests, fundraisers, and all the charity work. We also have special guests each week talking about what they're doing to make a difference in the facial hair world. We also do trivia each week with really great prizes, compliments of Honest Amish. So make sure you tune in every Tuesday night, 8 p.m. at TalkingBeards.com. Now let's get on with the show. It is working. Wow, the night of technical difficulties. Mine still says it's not working. Oh, I'm working. I'm getting to yours. Oh, I was just talking about all of them. No. So what I, did you have to change? Do you want us to just take this cover photo off? Take it off. Let's hey, just, what's going on? <laughs> Tonight. Uh, yeah, technical difficulties. I don't know if anybody's here or what's going on. No, we got uh, people. We got people in now. All right. We all right. are working on it. So what was going on was because we had the actual www.beardlaws.com listed in our show notes, it was blocking the show. Huh. Wonder. So wonder I, had to, I had to go into each individual place. We can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you too, Tara Hall. Yeah. We, yeah, we're being heard. So all, right, all yes. they're not working, <laughs> but I guess. The heck. Edit. Yeah, it's it's not it's saying that we're not live on our pages, but so where are y'all watching us? So wonder wonder why the beardlaws.com thing had us blocked or made it get blocked or whatever. It's because the, the internet wants it's fixed now. Everything's all fixed. We are all fixed. So there it is. Yeah, it's all popping. There we go. You did it. All right, so this is episode number 81 of Talking Beards. Uh, we have a slight little technical difficulty, but we're rolling now. So tonight, we will have uh, J.B. Rains from uh, Falls Facial Hair Foundation. He will talk about their live, in-person beard competition that will be happening this weekend in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, slash Brandon, South Carolina. Did you see South who's Carolina, here? South Dakota. The Sheldon Fletcher. Wow. The Sheldon Fletcher. Like yes, he's here. From uh Big Bang Theory, that Sheldon? No, Fletcher uh, lives. You know Chevy Fletcher. Chase? What? <laughs> this, is, this is amazing. We did it. So we, oh Tyler's here. What's oh, up, Junior? 
Um, let's see. Hold on. We will be going live in Beard Mob here in two seconds as well. All right. Oh, yeah, because that one had to be fixed as well. Yep. All right. So when we get mad in here, we're going to have to yell at him. Yeah. So this is all Matt McLeod's fault tonight. So, yeah. So everybody just yell at him. So here we go. We're rolling now. Six minutes and 15 seconds in. I'm all right. Aaron D. Johnston. Uh, yeah. I'm the guy on this side of the screen. Sorry about our technical difficulties, but we've we've got it all fixed now, and it's all Matt's fault. So yeah, what's up? Oh, and I and I am uh, Scott Sakura. I I'm the handsome one here, not not idiot face over there. Um, but, uh, we are now live on Beard Mob currently. Uh, but yeah, you can find out more information about myself by going to either Scott Sakura on Facebook, Instagram. Or wherever is crashed right now because it seems like the whole internet's coming down around us. Something but happened. What we're finding out though is it has to be Beard Laws is crashing the internet because he said all of his stuff is messing up and that is true. Yeah, so all he of blamed his stuff that was tied to us. Everything on uh, Beer Bong John, but maybe it's all his fault. He's so, a hacker. Yeah, so I added uh, Beard Laws as an admin onto our Facebook page. And then some of our videos got taken down. Mm-hmm. We put beard laws in our show notes and our videos are blocked. Huh? Maybe that Facebook does not like the laws. Facebook hates Matt basically. So this yeah, so <laughs> we're all out of whack. So it's going to be just like that yeah, tonight. It, it, felt like it, it felt so, like it was going to be like this anyway, because <laughs> we weren't ready for the show until like seven fifty eight and 42 seconds. Yeah. So, and, what was, and that was the thing is this, it was like we were getting all ready. And then all of a sudden it was like 10,000 technical difficulties got dumped on us right at the last second. So, you know, I mean, we've had a really good run. I don't know if you remember, like our first like 15 episodes of talking beards was just technical difficulties like that's that's the the whole episode was just us firing through technical difficulties so you know episode 81 let's get back to the technical difficulties so i know well uh, but anyways you can still go to uh talkingbeards.com uh which it's not showing up of, of course why would anything why would it? Why that's would just it? how it's gonna go tonight well you know what everybody while Scott kind of fiddles with that, nope, we, nope, no, I'm, uh, I'm not even fiddling. All right. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm still going to do what I'm going to do anyway. So this is the point of the episode where we tell you to share. So please share this technical difficulty ridden episode of Talking Beards to all of your, uh, you know, your favorite locations. Make sure you share it over on Beard Laws. Every Every single person on here should share this episode over on Beard Laws because they crashed us. So yeah, it's all their gonna, fault. So everybody go to Beard Laws and just like share this episode like forty seven thousand hundred million times. I know. Like, and when we get mad on, we're gonna totally like out of the blue, we're gonna attack them on this one. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. What the f, dude? What are you doing, Matt? Yeah, this is going to be amazing. I'm pretty excited about it. So I don't know. Now well, what? I'd like to like invite all, all well, say hello to all of our uh, new uh, Beard Mob friends. We are now broadcasting over on the Beard Mob. Page. Oh, yeah. So this is the first. Is this the first episode? So first I, ate a, I ate a donut. Oh, yeah. Over the weekend. And I tested the beer, the Beard Mob page. And it worked. So, yeah, this is the first episode of Talking Beards that is streaming live to the Beard Mob page. So, yeah. What's up, everybody in uh, Beard Mob world? And uh, all you, you know, Monty and Boo full beard loving people over there. So, yeah. All right. Sean Glander, we do have an update. It will be in the BS button beer bulletin board. Um, also, I do have information. All the information. All the information is in there. But uh, yeah, so so we will have uh, we have a couple uh, in uh, news things about the show. Uh, we will be broadcasting to a new new place next week, which we cannot tell yet, but it is insane. Yeah, so we will be streaming to a f- Facebook page as long as nothing else crashes. And um, starting next week, and it's got like thirty thousand followers on that page. So. 
Maybe it'll make a difference. Maybe next week there'll be 400 million people watching the show, or we'll still be around 50. We'll find, we'll find out. Stay tuned next week. And we'll I'm find pretty out. sure most of the people are going to be t- tuning in to see how handsome I look this week. Probably. They're like, probably. Does he really look that good every week? He and does. does that other guy really have like weird mask lumps in his beard? Look, tune in and find out next week. Yeah, tune in. Look at this. It's all Ooh. freaking wavy. <sighs> Watch this. Do you want to see something really funny here? Okay. Take her thing off there. You you put it on. Take there. it on. Take it off. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs> no, see, uh, I thought I was being crafty in here. You went and changed mine. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. So now's the time on talking beards when we guys uh bring oh Natalie's making gestures. Huh. Natalie did it. <laughs> Real funny. Wow. Gosh. This episode but, is I know all over the place. <laughs> Uh, uh, but now is the time on Talking Beards when we share the BS Button Beard bulletin board. Now, uh, for those of you who are unaware of what is Andrew's texting us? Andrew Matson. What? what? Oh, he's saying his running shorts. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> this is the best episode of Talking Beards ever. Um. Anyways, yeah. So if you are new to the uh, Talking Beards uh, show, we have the BS Button Beard Bulletin Board, which is a bulletin board for you to post anything that you find to be relevant or important that you would like to share with anyone and everyone in the beard community. There's a good bit of stuff in here tonight. Yeah. So we have a lot of stuff to go over, and uh, we did not pre go over it, which um usually ends up being pretty funny. We'd yeah. like to be prepared, but tonight we are not going to be. So, Just so everybody knows, this is going to be a not very prepared episode of Talking Beards. We were, we, we'll just say this. We were prepared, but Facebook derailed us like 15 minutes before the show. Yeah, that's that's what we're going with. All right. Let me just refresh yeah, this. Yeah, refresh that because that's not at top. Why don't you just shut up and don't tell me what to do? You don't Whoa. know me. Oh, look, it's Tyler Hill. I'm back, y'all. I know I was missed. So no, Tyler weren't. Hill got his Oklahoma driver's license today. So he is an official resident of Oklahoma. He is no longer anything to do with South Carolina. Oh. oh. All right. So the first post on the BS Button Beard Bulletin Board is from Stephen. Stephen writes a bad Comp cruise, I think that's a great idea. Yeah, so that was uh, brought up last night during the uh, Craft Whisker Build-Off show. Um, yeah, we are talking about a beard comp cruise, or what What did Tisha call it? Beard crew cruise. Yeah. Yeah. Beard crew cruise, you know, because yeah, we- the crew of beards on a this. cruise. Hello, Hello gentlemen. gentlemen. My mother and I I are watching watching tonight. tonight. As opposed to tomorrow. Right. Yeah. Well, you probably won't be able to watch this tomorrow because our video will probably be pulled down. Probably. (laughs) No one will ever watch this episode. Uh, Hello, Lady Albas. Hello, Lady Albas. All right. So, yeah, there was a lot of uh, it seemed that there was a lot of interest in this post. There was uh, a 582,000 comments on that one. Yeah, so Scott Sakura is going to fund uh, the beard cruise. Yeah, so uh, apparently that's in, cool. in Kara is that's what she wrote here. She's like, "Look, I'm going to fund it with that much money, sixty two thousand three hundred forty nine dollars." Wow, that's amazing. Thank you. No, I know Sheldon Fletcher. We found an outside venue to finally get this comp done. If you are in or around Jacksonville, Fl- which is Florida, people, come out and help raise money for a good cause so this is the mad viking uh florida club can you make it bigger um the mad viking uh florida uh presents the cornhole for charity benefiting vetcatch.org 40 dollars per team yeah september 12th it's coming up yeah so if you are interested 
uh, click the link and, you know, do do the things that it says. And, you know, there is no link. He just posted, there is no posted link. A, he posted a picture. Click the picture and no. do the words. It's not going to do anything. You can it find might. <sighs> Keep oh. going. All right. Sheldon Fletcher Fletcher also posts. When you look upon this blanket, understand that each one of these shirts represents someone's support for beard clubs and what they represent. Each shirt was paid for and money raised was typically used to help others. All of these shirts were donated by great people and we want we want to see these shirts help again. That's what he said, but he said some more stuff and it was doing his voice was really hurting my throat. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I don't know. My, my like voice is roached anyways for some odd reason. Probably from, uh, I don't know, stuff. Probably from stuff, yeah. And then here Probably we go. From stuff. Of course. And what happens, nothing more than the page crashes. No, not any more technical difficulties. No way. That would never happen. I know. Yeah, because look, nothing is loading now. That's fantastic. So... Um, I will, uh, oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Freaking Matt. Freaking Matt. Not That's speaking of loaded. I'm, I'm going to just going to remove that. What did you do? Yeah. What did you do? Yeah. So remember earlier when you were talking, you were like, oh, it's beer bong John's fault. And it crashed my, my, my website and all this stuff. We got to the bottom of this. Have you been yeah, watching so it all? I said, so, you know what? If I'm going down, you guys you guys are going down with me. You like, took us down, bud. I you didn't did. mean it. <laughs> did it's you see it? I, all the abuse you guys give me and the fact that I can barely say the BS buttons, beard bulletin board. You did it. You, you did, did it. it. I've been practicing a lot. Facebook yes. user says, what's up, y'all? So did you see that? Were you now paying we have a game within a game. We get to guess who the Facebook users are. Yeah, that's that's from the beard mob page. I don't, probably, I don't know why it does. It's probably that. Rick. Yeah. So anyway, did you see or were you like doing stuff or did you watch the beginning of our show? I was I was doing stuff. I just got a dog. So, and I had to pee. Yeah. So we we went to go live and all of our Facebook pages wouldn't go down. live because it said that our show notes had beardlaws dot com in it and it was against the uh what the. I'll, I'll read it what it said because I was going to send it to you. Yeah. So basically, it was uh, because we were associated with you, it wasn't allowing us to uh, yep. go live with anything anywhere. It said beardlaws.com. Your content couldn't be shared because the link goes against our community standards. So that means wow. you're doing something bad. Yeah, oh, Matt. No. I, don't <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Kids are old tacos. That's what? what I had for dinner. What? Oh my Guess god! Guess you're getting shut down. Maybe. Maybe. All right. Were, were you? Man, we've got so much on uh, BS buttons. I know. Like, Let me. I'll try to load it again. Try to load it again because it's it's slam I know, full. I know there's so much stuff. Because we do have to talk about Sean Glander. Because yeah. So last night on the Craft Whisker Build Off Show, um. Sean Glander uh, decided that he was going to use like a was it a grill of super glue. glue, and instead of hot glue, or he used it with the hot glue. Either way, he used it, and he mainly used it on his mustache. If you watched last night, and yeah, so the fumes from from the glue and the fumes from it melting the styrofoam. He yeah. breathed it in, and he ended up giving himself like a lung infection. Is that what it was? Yeah, he uh, um, and his esophagus. He burned his esophagus. He burned his. That's what it was. He burned his esophagus and burned his lungs last night live on Talking Beards. So, uh, yeah, that sucked. But so, man. Per disclaimer, don't do that. No. Only use hot glue from now on. Don't get crazy with uh. Super glue. So yeah. So uh, here, here was the message from Sean. It says, uh, um, "Learn." Um, he's he was basically responding back to all of us this morning in our little group that we were messaging, and he's like, "I'm good, guys. Thanks. Just a little lesson learned the hard way. When doing an hour build, don't use glues that produce fumes. Had a slight poisoning. They determined that by the puking. 
and burnt my lungs and esophagus a bit. Nothing too major. It's it was hella fun though. Um, I I'll take a couple pics this morning of him throwing up. I guess I don't know. Nice. Man. Jeez. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So that was on the BS Buttons Beer Bulletin Board. Sean Glander's post, and then uh, we scroll down. Al Neckert's got a picture of him wearing uh, a new Texas Craft Whisker Club shirt. So if if we can get that that back up, I'm trying to open it. In- I got you. So also we have a breaking news in the uh, BS Buttons Beer Bulletin Board. It says uh, it's from the British Beard and Mustache Championships, which most people should know, or you might know, or you might not know. Uh, it was canceled or and or postponed it was going to be around the first or second week of august of this year so it says good evening we have a new date for the fifth british beard and mustache championships they will be on saturday 28th august 2021 so they wanted to give everybody a uh, a whole year to get good and planned for it so british nationals are still going to be happening uh still going to be in rugby england Still going to be put on by that uh, that good egg, Lee BMG. Still be sponsored by Honest Amish and and all that good stuff. So nice, yeah. It's just going to be a whole year. Got a whole, got year. A whole another year. No excuses, so, man. So that gives you a whole year to uh, you know sell your poopery, Matt, and then you can uh, you know that is a go to England thing. with us. All right, all right. So I did. I had to. I had to open up in a new browser. All right. Oh, all right. So, yeah, so here you did it serious and it keeps jumping. It's fine. We, we, you want to talk about that one some more? Yeah. Well, here's a picture of Sean in the hospital and what not to use. Don't use that. Yeah. So if any of you guys do the, uh, the craft whisker challenge, uh, do not use the gorilla glue. Don't do that. No. Yeah. All right. Keep going. What is that? Sinocolate. I was going to, I wanted to see you read that word. Seals from cyanocrylate. Vaporite. Yeah. Don't do it. Speedy recovery. Here's Alan Eckert in his fancy shirt. He's he's doing the Angel Albo right there. Yeah. He's he he nailed it, I think. He did. did. Yeah. Good job, Alan. Well done. So hot. (laughs) Beard wiser. Wants to oh what he's introducing himself. Go over and check out kisskissbankbank.com. Yeah, go check him out. Do it. All right. Then Aaron talked about this. All right, what's this? Working class beards, Pennsylvania. Yeah, so I think this is the one that's going to be uh this is gonna be oh whoops. That was a that was the event that was a couple weeks ago, right? That they're doing the raffle for now. Yep, they're doing the raffle for the uh the red, white, and bearded online raffle. So yeah, go over there, check it out. There's a lot of good things on there. Yeah, some cool artwork too. So it says raffle chances one chance is four dollars, six chances is twenty dollars, and there's a PayPal link. Uh Jack A. Jones writes, Kansas Mad Viking Beard Club is going to try to raise their flag. If you are in Kansas and would like to join the message, message him and uh he'll hook you up. So if you want to know more about the uh, Mad Viking Kansas chapter, go over there. Talk about this. Yeah, so uh, this is this is pretty, I don't know, messed me up today. Anyway, one of our uh, good friends, Curtis the Stash Lawrence, he uh, he was part of Holy City for a number of years. We, we traveled all over the country together back in like 16 and 17. And uh, he, he got hired on by Ruzel and got me turned on to Ruzel and – started that sponsorship with me through him and uh yeah he he traveled all over he did a lot of ruzel stuff and he ended up uh settling back in south carolina last year and uh we talked about meeting up and meeting up and it just never our paths never crossed again but he was in greenville south carolina and uh yeah he uh he didn't show up to the shop for a couple of days and they they went and checked on him this morning and yeah he he was deceased in his bed, so yeah, he was a he was a good friend of a lot of people in the community. He was he was a good dude. He was a he was a mystery. He uh, he had a lot of 
I don't know. He he had a, a some sort of story behind his whole his whole life, and he he never really talked about. It. He was he was a cool, mysterious kind of dude, and he had an amazing mustache. And it, it was a it was it was an honor and and privilege to travel around with him for a while, and and he will definitely be missed. He he was definitely beloved by a lot of people, and he was he was a major player in the in the in the haircutting world. He he uh, he headed up like all the like all the education and uh, teachings and stuff that Ruzel did. And he, w- he was a major player over there and, and he'll definitely be missed, but yet yeah, freaking sucks. Then you find out stuff like that online. So yeah. All right. Uh, Monica wants to know if there are any online beard comps coming up. <clears throat> uh, if she wanted to, she can check out all the links that people posted below. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff coming up within the next few weeks. We got beards on the rocks too. And the Rose City Beard Mustache Competition, also a couple other online ones. So just make sure you just search this uh, in the BS Button Beard Bulletin Board, and you will find out what is going on. Yeah, so if you scroll down, I posted a few links. We got an online competition announcement. There you go. So August 16th. How about 15th? I can't see it so small. August 15th, that's a Rose City Beard Mustache Competition 6. It is at your house. No, it's not. That's what it says. Yeah, everybody go to Scott's house. No, it's not. Everybody's at Scott's house. So yeah, click the click the link and uh, get registered and do the do the Rose City Beard I'm Mustache Competition. Keep, keep going. Go so yeah, this is the uh, Beard Mob presents. This is the Beards on the Rocks. This is Sean Glander's competition. Never so heard. yeah, it's it's the uh, West Coast Beard Mob. It will also be online, and this is the. Uh, August 2nd competition. So it's on Sunday. So also at your house. So oh my click, gosh, click the link and uh, yeah. Look at this. What Matson right? What is this? I don't even know what this is. It looks scary. <laughs> it was best in show. Uh, yeah. It was Christine Hackman. She, uh, Jean's she, daughter. Yeah. She's the international bearded beauty. And, yeah, she she won best in show for the uh, Couch Vid nineteen, where uh, Matt McLeod finished fifth. <laughs> so yeah, she's <laughs> she's absolutely dominating these these online competitions. So yeah, she's a you she's know she's making her her dad Gene very happy. So happy. yeah, definitely definitely her dad Gene. And this beard was uh, she has chest hair. It was all she always has chest hair with her stuff. She she goes above and beyond. And this was a Nate Johnson r- roughly inspired beard. So yeah. like she's wearing a, uh, a fur fur. Well, I mean, this was a Nate Johnson inspired beard. How about that? I don't understand why it would be. Look at how it is. It's chops and it's got the curls on the end. He doesn't even wear glasses. Yeah, he does. Keep going. Oh, OK. It's eight thirty. Look, this is me. Andrew yeah. Matson posted it. Best in show. Look, you have I a best in show at a live beard competition. Can you believe it? Did you rip your shirt off like the trophy? Huh? You, you should have ripped your shirt off in like the trophy. I did. It's under my beard. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I, I see it. it. He's wow, wearing the same different. shirt. What a dummy. <laughs> I might have a couple of those shirts. And he's got a hole in his ear. <laughs> what? <laughs> dummy. So this uh, this also got announced. Like I said, there's a lot of uh, a lot of stuff going on. So um, Worlds 2021 in Auckland, New Zealand uh, has does not have an official date, but they said that they want to give everybody at least a year heads up. So it will not be in April of 2021. They said potentially um, the end of 2021. It could potentially be 2022 or 2023. Probably not 2023 because then that will, you know, impede on worlds in uh, Bristol, England in 23. So I would expect late 21 or 2022. But yeah, they said they definitely want to give everybody a year heads up. So it's definitely been pushed, but it does not have an official date yet. Squeeze me. You said something about peeing. I said impeding. Oh, so that means going urinating into yourself. Correct. 
And Christina M. Algaretti post something, and we can't see it. But special thanks to Natalie and Aaron. Some content isn't available available right now. It must be something Beard Laws did. Probably because Beard Laws is on here. So my it, bad. It is with great regret I must announce that Beards for Vets three has been canceled. We'll be How- back in twenty twenty one, bigger and better. So this one was in what Jefferson City, Missouri, I believe. No. It's it yeah, it's happening. Um, all right. Uh, Mad Viking Arizona is also looking for people. Um, if you guys want to know more about it, madvikingaz at gmail.com. Uh, email them. Also about the worlds. <clears throat> uh, here is what happened last night. He, Andrew Martin and Sean Glander. Tisha, where's the pictures at for tonight? So, yeah, you can watch this episode of Chopped Craft Beards Battle 4 and watch Sean Glander's Brush with Death. <laughs> Brush it with death. Yeah. Oh, here we go. I think, is this new? Or is this where we ended last week? So um, this is... uh, Yep. Yeah, this yeah, is... Yeah, Barefoot Brains. He's got stuff for sale, and it's for charity. So go check out Barefoot Brains on Facebook and buy his stuff, and it's for... Good. Thank you. Thank you we we'll see you, JB. We're just running behind. Okay. All right. Well, we don't even have to bring him in. So uh, without further ado, the internet breaking, smashing legend to the stars, Matt McClear. Good evening. I'm Matt, and this is your Talking Beard News brought to you by Beard Laws. Great stuff on the BS Buttons Beard Bulletin Board, the quintuple B. Everyone thinks being the news guy is such an easy task, but let me tell you, it's pretty difficult, especially getting all the harsh punishment from these two guys. Oh, they're gone. Uh, sometimes things happen live. He's and he pointed kind of to happen. himself on the wall. Yeah, yeah, I was pointing to these two guys. Wow. Good. Those guys are stupid. Yeah, a little bit <laughs> stupid. So, and just like this next boy, some things happen in live and you just have to adapt it, overcome. The three of us being this awesome, we don't rehearse it. It just happens. And same goes for Channel 7 News correspondent Marachika Paldako. Pretty sure I said it right. But a very unfortunate incident happened to her while her uh, live news segment was going on in Ukraine. She was doing her news segment just like she normally does, and she's done it many times before, when all of a sudden she felt her front tooth become a little loose. So instead of panicking or stopping the broadcast, she just smoothly put her hand to her mouth and caught her tooth and then just kept reading. Didn't even miss a beat. She explained that she had an accident about 10 years ago when her daughter accidentally knocked out half her tooth while playing with an alarm clock. Rumor has it that the daughter, after really ringing her bell is now a professional wrestler by the name of the time stopper okay maybe that is false news but uh she thought the incident would have gone unnoticed but we uh we know how the internet works it uh it went viral and here it is she's saying a bunch of stuff that wasn't in english but watch this there it is it's loose and just bloop, it just kept going that's a trooper she just that's that's a news segment person right there. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> wow. Wild. I hope that doesn't happen live on the Talking Beard show, but if it does, we'll adapt, we'll overcome. And then I have one quick other news segment, just super fast. Something went down in Oregon that was the first for them. It could even be the first in the world. A driver had stolen an SUV and led police on a high-speed chase before it crashed into another vehicle. That's not the part that hasn't happened. The crazy part is the vehicle that it hit turned out to be stolen as well. Randy Cooper, who was not hanging with Mr. Cooper, instead he was out stealing a Land Cruiser and tried to escape police as if he was playing Grand Theft Auto. He led them on a chase around the city, but after several minutes of pursuit, slammed into the back of a Buick Regal that was driven by Christine Nicole. Upon further investigation, it turns out she was under the influence and actually stole her vehicle a couple weeks ago. Some people use dating apps to find true love. Others, they just steal stuff and crash into love. I'd like to think that this terrible story ends in a modern day love story. Well, you know, once they get out of jail. But if that happens and they make a movie or show out of it, you guys heard it here first on Talking Beards News. That's you. You're Talking that, Beards News. That's it. And, that, and that's all I got for Talking Beards News. Well, Matt, we uh, we appreciate you doing the news. We don't appreciate you uh, screwing up our entire show. But Yeah, yeah I'm going to work on it for next week to not do that for, for everybody. I'm sorry that's everybody right. broke the internet. We figured it out, so we're all good. Yeah, yeah. That's don't how we associate ourselves with beardlaws.com anymore. No, don't do it. 
Right, right. But you can you still go that. to beardlaws.com and check it no, out. You, you, sh- don't you can't right now because the whole website's uh, uh, down. Huh. It's going to be back up in a couple hours. <laughs> so uh, who, do you, who do you have on the show on Thursday from TikTok? Uh, this, Matt? Uh, this week, it's a special edition, reuni- uh, like a reunited show. It's going to be Iron Sanctuary, Beer Bong John, and Fresh Prince of No Hair. They're going to come on and try their hand at uh, some trivia. Oh, that's going to be amazing. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty cool show, and we'll uh, we'll see who can win. Are you going to give away a case of bang to the winner? I think so, yeah. <laughs> I think so. They could really use it. You're yeah, right. I don't think those guys have near enough bang. No, nope. nope. Not at all. All right, buddy. Well, uh, thank you for stopping by and destroying our show, like I said. You're and, uh, uh, could you pass an Oreo real quick? Yeah, Oreos. See, right behind you. Just get rid of them. <laughs> All right, bye. Have a good show. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, you guys want to see something real quick? I got a dog. No, that's my dog. Hey, Whoa. dog. Oh, hey, dog. Hey. This is how hey. we feel about dogs. All right. <laughs> Look at this. Look what's going on this weekend. All right. Yeah, there you go. So, without further ado, I don't, I need to come up with other things to say. So, um. <laughs> Our very special guest, uh, JB Rains from Falls Facial Hair oh, Foundation. What's up, JB? How's it going? How are you doing tonight, sir? I'm still kicking. Good. Oh. It's still daylight where you are. That must be because you're in <laughs> South Dakota. Yep. It's like yesterday there. Is it always sunny there? Is it kind of like Alaska? It's like sunny six months out of the year and then dark six months out of the year. That's what, that's uh, what I hear. It, it's probably pretty close to that, yeah. Probably not I quite as bad as Alaska, but. That's cold. cold. It's not right. It's not cold there now. Your face yeah. is cold. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, as you saw, JB, we had an extreme amount of technical difficulties, so we got a late start. But we're rolling now, so appreciate you stopping by and coming and being on the show. So if you yeah, want to tell you everybody, everybody who you are a little bit, and uh, we'll we'll get started. I'm, um, uh, yeah, like you said, JB Ernest, uh, False Facial Hair Foundation, and we are after much debate and a lot of trying to decide whether or not to. We are going to have a live beard competition this weekend. What? I know. It's super exciting. Your mind is blown, Aaron. It is. I'm just excited that they're still going to have a live competition. So, yeah, um, we said earlier, you might be the last one of the whole year. Who knows? It seems like everybody's just canceling them and canceling them. And I don't know. We'll uh, we'll see how it goes. But uh, how how is the uh, coronavirus up there in uh, Sioux Fall area? Um. You know, we definitely, you know, we still are getting new cases, but, uh, you know, a lot of, most things are still open here and South Dakota never had too many restrictions going on. And uh, we, we kind of called this one, you know, we always call our contest Beard Clash. We decided to call this one Beard Clash COVID style. Okay. And uh, about a month ago, we uh, met up and we were, it was it was basically when we first postponed it we set like um a last chance date of i think july 1st and this was a little before that that you know we have to if we're gonna do it it has to be decided by then and um so calling it covid style we're basically kind of oh i don't know if you'd want to say revamping like the the priorities of it or what, but we kind of toned a lot of things down. Like uh, I can get into it a little more in a minute. We're doing the classes a little different this year. Um, and uh, kind of our, what we thought. And like when we met that time, that was the first time we had met in person in a few months too. And we had so much fun just being able to see everybody again that we kind of are, kind of our main focus of what we wanted to do is just get together and have fun again, you know, be able to see people in person. And as a bonus, we're going to have a little contest with it. So that was was kind of our thought on that. 
So um, how exactly are you going to break up these classes? So what was there, like five categories? And then if you fill those categories up, the subcategories, you'll split it out into more categories, something like that? Yep. Yeah, we just uh... – well, and the other thing too, you know, we have no idea who was going to be able to come or who felt comfortable coming. So we we're like, what do we do with classes? So we came up with five real broad general classes, and they're all able to split up in two or possibly three classes. So uh, I believe the way we're going to do it when you register, you'll you'll sign up for the class that if they would split that's the one you'd sign up for. Okay. And then as we get, once we get ready to start the competition, we'll see I, uh, our, our cutoff is I think three competitors, as long as there's three, we'll split it off and we'll have that class separate. Okay, cool. So, so are you, are y'all going to do your, uh, your trophies like you've done in the years past with the, with the skull? Or are you, you going to do something a little, they're they're slightly different uh the first place trophies are going to be the same uh and we're actually we're we're going to be finishing the trophies as we go once we we, we've basically got enough trophies to a point where we've got enough trophies for all the classes okay and we've got them ready to a point that if we don't need them we're just gonna put them in a tote and store them till next year we can use them next year that's smart. And otherwise, they'll be ready to go. Uh, second and third place trophies will be a little bit uh, not quite as what what they were in the past, but like I think it. Yeah, second place is still a skull, but just a smaller one. Skulls are um, skull necklace. And uh, third place is uh, I saw it last night. Now I can't remember what it was. <laughs> um, but third place is also going to be a small gift card to the bar. The, the court the the venue bottoms up there so well good deal Hope somebody from out of town wins one's one of the third place gift cards because <laughs> then they then they'll just have to use it right then and there yeah there you go see you're always thinking scott mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so uh have you have you talked to a lot of out of town people like the i think i know like the north dakota club's kind of close to y'all and there's i think what minneapolis isn't really too far have you have you touched base with any of those clubs or do you think you um, coming or is it just going to be mostly Sioux Falls people you think I know that I know a couple from North Dakota are coming and uh when we first announced we were going to do it um Minis- a couple of the guys from Minneapolis did uh reach out to me and just was just kind of curious on some things but uh, I haven't had a chance to touch reach back touch base with them again to see if they are going to come Okay. Uh, I know a few guys from Omaha are coming. You know, they're pretty close to um, all three of those are like two and a half to three hours away from us. They're all not that far. That's not too um, bad. Other than that, I know. There you go. Barefoot's coming. He's from Barefoot's Texas. Barefoot's coming from yeah. Teja. Yep. I, I just remember that. Barefoot said he was coming up for it. So There you go. That's awesome. I know yeah, someone that's then, coming from another state, too, but I'm not going to say. <laughs> the st- state of craziness, right, Aaron? Yeah, the state of craziness. Are you coming, Scott? Are you I coming am, from Ohio? I'm not. I am so sorry to say I am not coming from Ohio. Wow. All right. Well, I guess we'll just have to stay tuned and find out who all shows up to uh, South Dakota Beer Clash, COVID style. What about so, judges? Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about some judges. We <laughs> like being judged. <laughs> Yeah, that was the other thing too. Uh, you know, with with not sure who was coming or who was willing to come, we kind of just uh, and not sure who was going to come from out of town. We really focused on local. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but uh, Emma, she's coming from North Dakota. She uh, last year she won. We aren't going to do it this year because it's such a goofy year. But we started a new award last year called Blood, Sweat, and Beards, and she got that award. She's going to be one of our judges. Uh, a local barber is going to be another judge and uh, the charity we picked. Well, yeah, the charity was kind of a goofy deal too. We were going to, last year we did a, uh, like Austin facial hair club does. We did a beard contest for dogs last year. That was uh, a huge hit. Everybody wanted us to do it again. 
And that was planned for uh, basically right when the COVID stuff started happening and we weren't able to do that. So we did a little shuffling around, talked to our charities and we decided since we weren't able to do the dog one, the which is a local dog rescue, they're going to be the charity we're raising money for, for Beard Clash. And the charity that we were going to do for Beard Clash this year, we're going to do next year. So cool. And so, yeah, one of the judges will be from the, excuse me, from the uh, charity. Then uh, one of the judges, we actually, it's kind of funny, we're not positive who it's going to be yet. We're calling it our mystery judge. It must Y'all be this. It? Y'all must be it? Facebook user. It's, uh, it's going to be someone from the venue. Okay. Yep. <laughs> the venue's like, we're just going to, we're going to give you a judge. We yep. just. Yep. You know, cool. he, he's been, he's been such a great supporter of us this uh, in the past few years. We thought it'd be really cool if somebody from the actual bar could be a judge. And when we were there last night, he, uh, he had actually forgotten. So he hadn't asked anybody. Yet, <laughs> so. <laughs> so that's, it's going to be pretty, pretty well prepared like this episode tonight. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Then our, uh, our final judge will actually be uh, Don Shea. Of Shea never, Butter. Never heard of him. Never heard of him? Yeah, not no. many people have. No, I don't, I don't know <laughs> that guy at all. I, but did you know that he owns Shea Butter, though? I heard but, a rumor about that. Yeah, we don't know who he is, but that's definitely a positive for sure thing. Like, yep. I heard maybe he plays a mailman sometimes, but he really, he's like a multi-billionaire for Shea <laughs> Butter. So he just does the mailman thing for fun. If we he's do actually work. my mailman now. Are you serious? Yeah, serious. <laughs> <laughs> he switched routes and now he's my mailman. So do you like let the dogs loose on him and stuff? And then like when he, you see him coming in the yard, you like turn the sprinklers <laughs> on. Yeah. Nico would bite no, him. Not yet. Don't, oh, don't ruin man. the surprise though. Oh man. I can't like, wait. Nico, look, a mailman. <laughs> You're looking the wrong way. Don't Nico's you. attacking. He's right around. All right. Um. Do you know if the uh, the bar itself is going to set up any? Do they have any type of precautionary COVID stuff going on? Or yep, we uh, they they are going to have a few things. Um, like the big thing. Well, it's we always have it outdoors, so it is going to be outdoors again. Um, and I, he got uh, he got rid of a few tables, and he said, you know, I. He, he, I think kind of the way he put it is like, he's not going to babysit the tables, but when we start, they will all be spaced appropriately for what the general recommendation is. Gotcha. At the beginning. So kind of leaving it up to us to try and keep as much, you know, as much social distancing as we can, you know, it's kind of hard to, <clears throat> to completely not do it. But uh, and then also, there's going to be hand sanitizer at every table and he has a lot of extra for, I believe a lot extra. Yeah. I mean, uh, it sounds like doing their best, to try to, you know, keep the, the COVID stuff all in check. So, yep. you know, yeah, and kind of the, you know, the same guidelines are like, you know, you know, if you're not feeling good or you're not comfortable, just stay home. You know, it's kind of what we're going with trying to, let everybody just use their best judgment and, have and a good don't, time. don't be afraid to wear a mask either. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to wear a mask, you go right ahead and nobody will look down at you whatsoever. And if they do come get me. Unless they're really <laughs> short. No. What? No, no never mind. Yeah, JB <laughs> will uh, grab, grab them and probably like rip their arms off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it sounds like, you know, it should still be a good event. I mean, we did one last weekend and I mean, there, there wasn't a ton of competitors, but they still were able to raise a thousand dollars for their charity. So, um, are you, are y'all something's always better than nothing? Exactly. Are you, y'all still going to do a, a raffle and stuff or. Yeah, we, uh, we're, we're not doing the silent auction this year, but we do, we're going to have two different raffles. Um, uh, one raffle for, a cheaper ticket with some smaller items and one raffle that will be a little more expensive per ticket, but they're really nice big items to um, try and win. Well, what's Chislick? Yeah. Will, will there be Chislick? 
There will definitely be Chislik. What is that? You haven't had Chislik here yet, Aaron? I don't know what that is. Oh, man. <laughs> what is it? Chislik is a South Dakota delicacy. Oh, my gosh. I need it. it uh, it's basic. Well, it originally, if you want to be a real purist, Chislik is chunks of mutton fried. Mutton That's steak cool. cut into cubes, fried, and you eat it. Oh, I thought you were uh, making mutton chops. At uh, at Corson, he does steak chislic. You know, it's beef cubed up, fried up, and you know, you, yep. Huh. huh? You gotta. You'll have to try it this year. It's absolutely. You you've been to South Dakota a couple of times, and I can't believe I haven't made you have chislic yet. <laughs> I love it up there. I mean, I like. I look forward to this competition every single year. It's just I don't know what it is. There's just something about just being up there. That I just I just love it so much. Now I've never been there in you know December, so that <laughs> my, my tune would probably change. But the air is so clean. Definitely being um, it's it's extremely clean. Like I don't I don't know. I just being up there in the summertime is amazing. So if I was like a millionaire, I would definitely live up there <laughs> when it's warm, and then get the heck out of there when it's you know December. Jesse Larson's gonna buy you some, Aaron. Oh, there you go. You don't know my life. Maybe I might <laughs> be there. Yeah. Uh, you, you mentioned winter. I've actually had it one time. I was going to the gym. I was walking out. I had my shaker bottle of pre-workout drink. And in the time it took me to walk from the door to my pickup, that drink froze. Screw that. <laughs> Not solid, but it got completely slushy. Oh, yeah, that so would- like. Those are like the days when you're outside and you breathe in really heavy and everything in your nose freezes. That's always yep. the delight. That Alan Ecker not wants- happen here. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> On the coldest day, that would not happen here. Now, Alan- it could be the extreme opposite. I could, you know, have a uh, pre-workout in my shaker and walk to the car and it starts boiling. <laughs> or it just evaporates. Car. Yeah, or just evaporates <laughs> just in the cup. But it definitely, on our coldest day, it would never... Every, every <laughs> you guys don't know living until you know cold like that. I'm fine not knowing, not living. <laughs> if that's what living is, I'm perfectly fine with it. Like, if it snows one time here, that's more than enough. That's what I'm saying, Kirkby. Yeah, we know, we know that, that not as much as they do up there, but we, we know we get the battle of both worlds. We get the super cold, we get super hot. So. Oh, well, um, yeah. So do you have when do you have like uh, like swag bags and stuff this year? Or? Uh, not much. Uh, yeah. Like we said, we kept it pretty, pretty bare bones this year. And like, we're, we're focusing on. Yeah, we're going to have a comp, but we're focusing on just being able to have some fellowship again with everybody and whoever can make it. And uh, we will have uh, there is going to be a band playing afterwards again. Uh, I can't remember. Uh, I just found out about it the other day. I can't remember what their name is, but Slayer. Yeah. <laughs> well, just so you know, there might be a uh, a large box of Honest Amish products headed your way to uh, give out to all the competitors. So, oh, okay, that'd be great. I do believe it's going to Don Shea of Shea Butter's house. So, if it ah. doesn't show up, then Don Shea just stole it all. <laughs> there'll probably be some masks in there too for you guys so i would absolutely assume that there's going to be masks. so yeah honest homage has a bunch of masks that they're i'm trying to get out to the competitions that are still still happening so you know well, look, who made, look who made it into the chat room tonight facebook oh. user can you believe oh. that what's up facebook user hey y'all hey y'all what there you go. Don Shea says, it will be er here. <laughs> so, it'll be er here, so that's good. All right. I don't know. You got anything else, Counselor Cora? Uh, that's it, man. We we greatly appreciate you coming on and talking about this, and we really wish you uh, great success with this, and hope, hopefully you know, people show up and, and come out yep. and support. I have a feeling that you'll still have a good turnout. Everybody loves your club and everybody loves being up there. And y'all are just absolutely the, the kindest hosts that 
you know, any club could ever, anybody could ever go visit a club. I, I, I feel like you'll still have a good turn. Yeah. No. We're, anyway, we're going to have fun. Absolutely. <laughs> That's, That's what it's all about. So. Yep. All right, JB. Thanks for having um, me on. Yeah, buddy. You have a great night. And uh, yeah, we'll see you soon. Yep. Sounds good. Don't okay. forget, it's the 2020 South Dakota Beard Clash. You guys can find it up on Facebook. Uh, there's the event right there. If you need more information about it, just search for it on Facebook. There you go. There, I did. I went there. You did it. I did it. Look it. Uh, so we've got trivia tonight. We got it. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. I got to find it. I just realized. <clears throat> I had a patient. Don't pick on me. I, well, who could it have been? Who had a patient tonight? Who had a patient? I'm going to say Fawn Hall. That's what I was going to say, too. But I thought Fawn Hall was in here earlier. Who's Facebook user? It was Facebook just sucking? Just We've in time to see that. We've never had this problem. This is coming in through uh, Beard Mob. Oh, uh, can you see it? No. Okay. So I will uh, see if I can address that. So I know there was a thing that we had done before. Oh, oh Summer. What's up, Summer? Four yeah. score and seven years ago. See her addressing it. You're so no. stupid. Oh, Italian ranch. I bet it's thousand summer. thousand island. I'm guessing summer. Oh, sorry, Natalie's screaming at us to do trivia. This person says, "I'm on Aaron D. Johnston page." So I don't know. We'll get to the bottom of it. Sorry, we had some technical difficulties, Facebook user. Um, but we'll get through it, and next week we'll we'll have streaming everywhere else, and hopefully there's no more issues. So, with that being said, tonight's trivia will be brought to you by Andrew Matson as he uh, sits at home and you know does he's what he's doing. Right now. Excuse me. Um, letters trivia. So initials and acronyms. <laughs> Not April. Akron, Ohio, but acronyms. That's where LeBron's from. From Akron? Yes. Ohio. Uh-huh. Acronyms. Acronyms. Oh look, here we go. Here's a <coughs> from the Honest Amish Oil. It's already autographed by Aaron. Nico. Houston. Look at this. That oil is worth like probably like 14 more cents than it was. We need to get Nico to start autographing stuff. Yeah, with his poop. Oh, my God. Yes, Summer. Yes, Summer. You do. Yeah. So, there you go. So, uh, let's get the ball rolling on this trivia brought to you by Andrew Matson. Like I said, this will be letters trivia. So, it'll be initials and acronyms. Question number one. Who is the writer of the Harry Potter books and screenplays? Ding. Who is Stephen R. King? Mmm. You would think that, but no, you would be wrong. Who is the writer of the Harry Potter books and screenplays? Ding. Danielle H. Steele. Mmm. Incorrect again. <laughs> you're, so, you're close, but but wrong. Hmm. So, who could it be? Who could it be? Trivia World. Hey, there we go. Michelle Emerson, straight from the bathtub. J.K. Rowling. Never heard of that person before. It, Michelle Emerson. Yeah, that either. Pancake. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, geez, now they're all like blah, blah, coming in like crazy, like a wrecking ball. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, <laughs> number two. Crystal Davis is here. What word is added to the acronym for self-contained breathing apparatus to make it scuba? Ding. Uh, What is Jacques Cousteau? Hmm. Nope. He invented it, though. No, he didn't. He did, too, you boner. No, he didn't. Yes. Jacques Cousteau uh, invented the self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. But... No, he didn't. Mm. It was hey, Siri. Mike Davis. Who invented the scuba tank? Don't tell me. Jacques Cousteau, the father of scuba diving. 
<laughs> says right there. Shannon Chicken Bread, underwater. See, Jacques Cousteau. God, you're so smart. My mama taught me how to be smart. Mama said all them alligators are so ornery because they have all them teeth and no toothbrush. Natalie pointed out that you gave everyone that answer. I know, but see? But oh, I did. You did. You added Dan B wanted to go with CPAP. That was actually wrong, Dan oh. B. Question number three. Mm, I like my Who shot better. JR on Dallas? <gasps> Angela, she knows this one. I don't. We Angela, were talking about this the other night. You you live in Texas. Um Dallas is in Texas, so you should know it. Summer lives in Texas. She'll Chicken know breads live in Texas. What? They own East Texas. Did you know that? I know. They have one million Ooh, acres. JR on Dallas. I feel like we have a, an incredible delay, and they're all going to pop in. Ding. Three, two, Bo- Bobby one. Ewing. Um, no. Incorrect. Sue Ellen. Incorrect. Patrick Ewing. Patrick <laughs> Ewing, the basketball Patrick. player? Wrong. Oh. Hey, Beer Claws is live. Let's see if we can get him taken down. Yeah, let's let's take him down. <laughs> Here we go. That bitch Carol Baskins. It it might have been. Who shot JR on Dallas? No. Did um, anyone ever even find out? There we go. We'll take it. Kristen Shepard. T- good job, Tyler Hill. I like this one. Huh. Huh. It wasn't me. It was the one-armed man, hey, Brian Hop- Apodaca. Polka dotted alpaca daca. Where have you been? Question number four. What Canadian singer, actress, and activist was nominated for Grammys for her albums? I don't. Injuin? Mm. Constant craving. Mm. Uh, Getty Ingenue. Lee. Huh? Ingenue? Yeah. Who? What Who? Canadian singer, actress, and activist was nominated for Grammys for her albums? Ingenue. Ingenue. Ingenue and Constant Craving. Um, mm. it, it was Getty Lee. Focus on the Constant Craving album. Oh, uh, Bob and Doug McKenzie then. Mm, it was actually Katie Lang. Good job. Oh. Tyler Hill coming in hot. Katie Lang's awesome. Katie Lang is awesome. Katie Lang is awesome. KMFDM Lang. Get off. <laughs> <laughs> Get off me. Man. Question number five. <laughs> what does the R in the acronym laser reference laser beams. What is the R in laser means you have to be over 17 to use it. Yeah. But what's the R mean restricted? Nope. What does the R in the acronym laser mean? <laughs> Respect. Respect. <laughs> R E S P E C T. Fawn Hall. There you go. Not Rad- radar. Radar. Tyler Hill. Radiation. Look at this. Tyler Hill. Fawn's got a bunch of good ones. Yeah, too bad. She took, her, she, she took her funny pill tonight. She did. Oh, Fawn Hall. Oh, my God. She can, she can throw a good one out there every now and then. Yeah, she can. Watch this. I'm Fawn Hall. Question number six. The 3M Company was originally an acronym for Minnesota Mining and what? Monkeys. (laughs) You gave away the answer. Malamutes. (laughs) Tyler Hill coming in hot. Milking Um, monkeys. Ow, my mustache. Mustache. (laughs) (laughs) 
The 3M Company was originally an acronym for Minnesota Mining and Manufacturing. Israel. That's just such a boring name for a company. That's why they changed it to 3M. And now they make tape and stickers. Adhesives. Post-it notes. Question number seven. Mufasa. Ooh. Cookies. C.S. Lewis created what fan fantasy novel series about four siblings in a fictional realm of magic, mystical beasts, and talking animals? Easy. Ding. This one is the boxcar children. <laughs> Jesse was my favorite. I I saw those books. <laughs> you saw them, but you yeah, didn't and, and I know some people that read them. Is that some person in here? No, I didn't read books. <laughs> <at all. laughs> I was just oh. saying like oh, school. I was like, oh, check it out. Boxcar children. Well, you well, I don't know what it is. Which one it is it? Because I uh, see three different people at different Michelle answers. Emerson, straight from the bathtub. Oh. Chronicles of Narnia. Fast and the Furious Six. Correct. Question number eight. In Walker, Texas Ranger, who is the retired captain and bar owner that goes only by his initials? What hmm. initials? AJ. Mm -mm. In Walker, Texas Ranger, who is the retired captain and bar owner that goes only by his initials? What are his initials? Ding. What is Patrick Swayze? Hmm. But what's his initials? P.S. I no. love you. Oh. <laughs> Not PJ. Here it is. C CBD. CD. Yeah. Come in. Come in. Are you on the CD? Israel. CD. Where are we at, Natalie D. Johnston? Does that stand for compact disc? So we've got Michelle with two, Tyler with three, and Israel with two. Dukes. I said put up your dukes. He said, and I cannot. Bringing up the rear with one. I cannot put up my dukes. I'm a goat. Question number nine. Said, In right automotive right. parts and computer software, what does OEM stand for? Oh, my. That one's so easy. Oatmeal eats meat all day, all day long, all day. Question number nine in automotive parts and computer software. What does OEM stand for? Whoa, look at someone's making fun of you. They were liking what I was doing, but apparently not what you were doing. No, I think it was definitely the other way around. Definitely. Original. Equipment manufacturer. I like mine better. I think Tyler Hill has won, but we'll keep going. Let's Question keep going. number 10. Which author used initials for his first and both for his first and both middle names while writing The Lord of the Rings and Hobbit books? Which mm -hmm. author used initials for his first and both middle names while writing the Lord of the Rings and Hobbit books. <laughs> that so funny that? user was not me. But what's his whole name, Israel? <laughs> That's what I said. And making fun of Aaron D. Johnston. Shut up, Facebook user. Yeah, you're Tyler Hill. Just not going to let anyone win tonight. Tyler Hill has five. So Tyler, there's, a, there's a tiebreaker question. Might as well answer it, right? J.R.R. Top. J.R.R. Top. Question number tiebreaker. Ooh. In, in auto racing, what does KBM stand for? KBM. Yeah. In auto racing, most importantly, NASCAR. What does KBM stand for? Killer Bowel movement. Mm, that's pretty good. <laughs> but no, that's not it. 
a kind bowel movement. Yeah, so I don't know if anyone will get this. A kinky bowel movement. Mm. That actually starts with a Q. Kink? K-I-N-K-Y? Q. Look at this, Israel. Go ahead and uh, you can send Natalie D. Johnson your address as well because I'm going to send you something. (laughs) For answering that? Yeah, Kyle Busch Motorsports. Good job, Israel. Send him one of your Kyle Busch race cars. No, but I that sounds like you, you're, you're breaking up. Shut up, no. Tyler Hill. You won this oil with my autograph on it. Congratulations, um, Israel. Send us something. Uh, send us your address, and I will. I will send you something. Something magical. So, <gasps> what? Unicorn semen? Probably. So this is for Tyler Hill. So yeah. Um. That's it. <laughs> Tonight was a, a little off the rails. We got a rough start, and it was all Beard Law's fault. So make sure everyone goes over to the Beard Law's Facebook page and shares this episode multiple times over there. Every, ooh, what is that? Something came in the mail today. Mr. Stash Rolls. Mr. Stash Rolls. Mr. Stash Rolls came today. Here they are. I'm glad. Why didn't you put them in? I'm going to right now. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait. Perfect. That's how I put mine in. So, yeah. Like I said, thank you, everybody, for uh, sticking through the uh, long, drawn-out beginning of the episode. But we got going. So, I'm Aaron D. Johnston. You can find me over on uh, TikTok at Talking Beards and Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, another Facebook, Better Homes and Gardens, and everywhere that, I don't know, stuff sold uh, at Aaron D. Johnston. So I appreciate y'all. Um, thank you for watching. Appreciate JB for stopping by. Thanks, Matt, for stopping by. Uh, appreciate Tyler Hill for winning trivia. And uh, thank you, Andrew Matson. Thoughts and prayers are with you tonight, sir. And uh, thank you for bringing. Uh, such fantastic trivia as per usual. So, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. And next week, hopefully, on the Talking Beards Facebook page, we should have a show every single day next week. <gasps> We're doing my Mr. Stash Rolls commercial right now. It's pretty good. So, you too could look this good with Stash Rollers. You're so stupid. Dot com. Dot com. <laughs> I yeah. am Scott. Uh, I'll go work on that later. That one's kind of embedded in there. <laughs> I am Scott Sikora. You can find me on Facebook at Scott Sikora uh, or on Instagram, but we want you to go over to TalkingBeards.com. Check us out over there. You can subscribe to the podcast. You can do everything that we want you to by going to TalkingBeards.com. But the big thing we really want you to do is share this show with other people. Let them know about the show. You know, that's the biggest thing. We We don't care if you listen to the podcast. We don't care anything else, just share the show. If you like the show, if you think this is fun, if you have a good time hanging out, which we obviously do, we have tens of thousands of people every week uh, joining us. Uh, If everyone goes and tells a friend or nine or three or, you know, some, I don't know, 93 friends. Yeah. All of them, all your friends. So tell all your friends and all your friends, friends about us. So yeah. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Just share it. There it is. This very beautiful picture of Cher sitting by the lake. In her I acid watch jeans. Right there. Feels like it. Feels very eerie. Looks like the picture I took the other night. Huh. Maybe it's the picture you took the other night. Why well, is not? It is. Are you serious? Yeah, 100%. Andrew sat there and made it. No. <laughs> but you, you miss Cher was sitting there. Are you kidding me? You stole my picture and did that with Cher? I didn't do it. This is great. Andrew, you could have just let me know. I would have sent you the picture. Nah, this was better. (sighs) Okay, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode of the Talking Beards podcast. You can find out more information by going to talkingbeards.com. There you can subscribe to the podcast, make a donation to our show, 
or pick up some really cool Talking Beards merchandise. We hope to see you in the chat room. You can find us over at facebook.com slash Talking Beards if you want to participate in our chat. Thank you again for checking the show out, and we hope you have a great week. Make sure you come back next week at 8 p.m. on Tuesday evening to watch the show live. Until next time, thanks. Thanks.